He broke, you know what I'm saying? He lets the God reach the one technique or reach the gap. He lets the God bring that guy over to him. Okay? He puts him back on to the God, just the way I explained that God did it to the center for the center. Okay, then he goes up and he blocks the linebacker. You understand what I'm saying? This is a nudge. Now this will put a couple of these and then I'll put McNally up here. That make everybody strong then man. Say that again? Yes. If you're using that call, that means the God's on a man to the front side. Now, when you get real good, the God can, you know, he can be on a man, but the son of a little washer that God did, and look at the three techniques just in case he comes inside, we gotta practice. Okay, a couple of these and I'm out of here. Okay, guys. 
guys. Uh, well, later now I'm trying to take over to take Bob's thing. Although I didn't start this thing, you know, he did fuck these deal. But uh, uh, I'm going to write this gentleman's name down, his office telephone number, and his mailing address, all right? So mark this down. Tom Shilke. He's talking he's Turkish. Istanbul. That's where his parents were from, I believe. Okay, now, in Pittsburgh, all right? Office 412. 831-9740. That's his office telephone number, and this is his mailing address. 2610 Cedar View, Cedar View, B U E, Pittsburgh, PA, 15241. That's his office telephone number and address. The reason I'm putting this up here is that uh, a lot of you guys think I'm full of shit, which I am. But I've been coaching for, I don't know, 33 or 4 years. And you know, I'll, get, I'll blow my guts up. Anything I've got new, I'll tell the whole world. I don't give a shit. I'm trying to help football. I want to see football, move on, high school, college, whatever. I love seeing guys pick techniques, develop them. If they stole it from me, I don't give a shit, okay? We're all in it together. This guy here opened my eyes. I'm supposed to be a big time coach, do all this bullshit. I didn't know a thing about pass protection when I bet him. I mean, I knew, make a punch, use your hands, all these drills. This guy taught me what it's really all about. He just taught me this year. This guy was, in my opinion, the best pass blocking tackle in football as far as the use of the hands, punching people, knocking them down. I see him knock Reggie White down six or seven times a morning, knock them down. I'm going to wait 265. So what happened is there was this little video tape of him working his punching drills, and I got my hands on it, a lot of other coaches, and they said, that's the punch stuff, that's the punch stuff. So I said, screw it, I'm going to bring a punch in. So we brought him in, he charges, and uh, he worked with our offensive linemen at the Panthers for one full day. And our guys are better now. And what he's done is he knows how to train the hands, how to train the punch, how to blah, blah, blah. And uh, the reason I'm bringing up, this is the newest thing now. You know, they run to the wing team. They run to the drop step, the zone plays. In three or four years, this guy will be traveling all over the country teaching you how to punch. Now the thing, you can try to steal his videotape, get this, get that, but unless you have hands-on contact with him, unless he comes in and works with you, unless he works with your kids, it's not going to be as good as you just trying. Because when I first saw his tape, I didn't understand. They're doing all these, I, when he told me, and he taught me, and he taught my kids, it's better. So I'm trying to sell this guy, he's got a business, he's got money, but he'll come to your school, work with your players, but you got to pay him. So you guys at these big schools, they got money, I don't know if you work with your kids, but you bring them in, and your pass blocking will improve 100%. Now I don't know if you high school guys, if you can afford them or what, but you need to find out that this will be the latest deal. Now, I got a little tape of one of my guys doing some of his stuff. I'm not even going to say this is this, this is this. You watch a couple of my guys do some of these things with their hands. He's the one that taught them how to do it. And they